My healing journey started about four years ago. I chose this. I chose to heal. And there was a reason to this. There was a reason as to why I chose to heal. I had discovered uh, the broken parts of me that made me live a certain life, a lifestyle that I didn't even want, okay? It was relationships I got involved. I never liked most of them. It was the friendships I had around that turned out as toxic friendships. It was everything. Fast forward, four years later, I started to discover that I, I had stepped into my greatest version. I will share with you what really happens on this healing journey. Two things will happen first. You may be forced to do the healing, okay? You could be forced. Maybe you may be forced into therapy, you know? You may be forced by conditions, people, circumstances to change your life. Or sometimes it could be spontaneous. You, you may just like think about things and you're like, you know, you choose to start healing yourself. Healing is a journey. And it's a very difficult journey. It is not everybody who chooses. Not everybody wants to heal. Okay? Because the journey is very intensive. And not everybody may want to take that path of healing, you know? So sometimes you see a lot of people. They are jumping from one toxic relationship to another. Even some of them understand that these are not good relationships, but they don't know what to do about it. And they don't want to take any steps to heal. Chosen ones, when you heal, you're going to discover another side of you that you didn't know existed within you. You see, because a person who is healing is a person who wants to move from brokenness to their healed version of themselves. And when you have taken that decision, ladies and gentlemen, some of the things normally what happen is um, you come out on the other side where you feel a very beautiful, peaceful version of you. Now, that version of you, remember, you have already been through the BS, okay? You know the trauma, you've been through everything, and you've healed from it. So, you come to that place in life where nothing no longer triggers you. You're a person who, like, you will see people. You look around you and you will see the people that haven't healed. You're not judging them, but you're also looking around and you're thinking that you don't want to be a part of it. You know, you have, you have respect for them. You have love for them. You know where they are on their journey, but you don't judge them, okay? You don't, like, uh, try to lash out at them, try to force them to move like you. You leave them where they are, and 
you lead by example, okay? So when they see a healed person, they are also going to be triggered to start their healing journey. So you will start to see around you the, the BS. Because you see, you move to a different spectrum. And it's like you have this, uh, a bird's eye view of where you have been. So you're seeing the people that are wounded. And what is coming into your mind is like, you have been there. So it's the reason as to why you don't judge people, okay? You see the things they do. Sometimes you see the hatred they try to throw onto other people. You see the way they are destroying themselves. They're not even aware of what they are doing. And in most case scenarios, you might as well notice that some people are, a certain type of people is gravitating towards you. You see, because an, an, the unhealed person, they like being around healed people. Okay? They like being around healed people. So when you have done, let's say, for example, some job to heal, and you've done the work, so you may now start to see people who are showing up and they want to be a part of your team. They want to make you their friends. You know, they want to make you their partners. They want to be a part of your life. But you have a lot of respect for them and love for them. But you also know that because you can see you can see the brokenness in them. You can see that they're wounded. And you're trying very hard not to be around anybody who is going to drag you backwards into that position because you have been there. The reason why you've healed, you, you chose to heal, is because you want to get away from a certain energy and step into a much more peaceful place, beautiful place in life. So these people is like you are, you know, you, you choose to give them a distance. You, sh you choose to give them a distance. So when you hear people sometimes getting mad at you, the first thing that comes to your mind as a healed individual, you don't judge them. They are saying some things and as a healed person you know that they are projecting their own insecurities because there are some other things they have not healed from. And it is easier for them to not deal with those insecurities and problems and maybe traumas. So they find a trash can where they can now project those things onto somebody else. Because it is the only way, you know, they can feel good about themselves, they can validate themselves. When somebody else has to feel exactly how they feel about themselves. So that's why you see a lot of healed people, they don't want to pretty much get engaged with unhealed people. Okay? They will show up. Eventually, you will see them. They will come around. Some of them may come around for, question, uh, for answers. Okay? So they want to know what you did to get where you are. Because now people they are seeing, especially the people that know you, they are seeing a very big change in your energy. They are seeing the glow, you know, the confidence you get, your confidence back, you know, your self-esteem, back. Most of the things that broke you way back in time, you have started to, you know, release that energy and get yourself back together so that you can become your greatest version. Healing is also a journey that can uh, push you 
eventually to find your purpose. Because after the healing is done, even sometimes during the healing process, you are also trying to find more meaning, okay, in life. You want to add more value to your life. And there is things that you will do that you didn't know you could do. There is places that you will go you didn't know you could go. Ladies and gentlemen, I was entangled in a situation ship for seven years. And most of the times I was only giving out. Okay? I wasn't receiving anything. So by that time I didn't know even how to love myself. I didn't know that it's possible to put back in yourself, to give to yourself. So I used to be a giver most of my life. Even simple things such as, you know, holidays. I always dreamt about going somewhere, enjoying, you know, sitting at the beach, you know, eating foreign food, seeing different people, enjoying, really enjoying life, feeling, experiencing the real meaning of life. The moment I chose that journey of healing, ladies and gentlemen, all those things became possible. It was no longer a dream. I was like, oh, actually, this is possible. It is possible to do big things when you get out of a very dense negative energy. So I was able now to, you know, take those holidays that I, I, I've always dreamt about, meet very beautiful people, very beautiful souls. Because you see, healing, you also realize that you attract a certain type of people when you have healed. Your energy shifts in the sense where you will notice that the people that are coming towards you, you recognize that these are healed people, okay? There are also people that have also done the work. So you can know the difference between somebody who has done the work and somebody who hasn't done the work. You know the difference. And you warmly invite the people that have also worked on themselves. We're talking about if you want to get into relationships, you know, sometimes even friendships. You want to get connected to people that have also done the work. So the people that you recognize that show up and you know that they have not done any work on themselves, there is so much stuff they are dealing with. Yes, you are passionate about them and you are, you know, you want to show them a thing or two. It could be advice. You may maybe, maybe want to point them towards this, uh, uh, the right direction of where it is they need to go. But you don't want to hang around pretty much. So that's why you see a lot of times the healed people, they have mastered that art of uh, staying by themselves, staying alone, okay? They don't want to rush into, you know, commitments, you know, things like that, relationships. They don't want to rush into those things because they are very protective of uh, their energy. They are very protective. They are, they are like, you know, because a wounded person, you will see their heart on their faces. You know, you will see the way they are frowning. You will see the way they look. The words that are coming out of their mouth, everything seems to be toxic and poisonous. And a wounded person might as well wound other people. And sometimes they don't really do this because they want to do it. It is something which is like a subconscious thing. It's like they just keep on engaging with other people and because they are coming from a different place energetically so sometimes they are going to project that similar energy onto other people even sometimes people that didn't wound them you know sometimes because a wounded person can uh, destroy somebody else who had nothing to do with their problems they wasn't there they don't know what happened just things out of the blue happened and for some mysterious reason those people start wounding other people that are not, that are not, they have never been a part of their problems. And even if it comes to relationships, you may sometimes um, have to be alone. You're trying to protect yourself. 
So you don't want to date a wounded person. However much they may like you, they will really like you because you're healed and you're coming from this beautiful energy and they want to be a part of it. But usually you're going to find yourself like refusing uh, commitments. You know, people will show up, they want you and you'll be like, oh, you know, I'm still taking time by, my, by myself. You are really comfortable on your own. You're not looking out for anybody. You're not really looking out for it. When it comes, it will come. But even if it comes, you want to see that it is the right thing. So you're in this energy which wants to attract the best, okay? So you want to attract the best because you want to be with somebody who is coming from a good place energetically, okay? So healing, ladies and gentlemen, is what I'm trying to tell you is that healing is very vital for your own personal growth. It is something you're going to have to do, okay? You're going to have to do it. So there are some things you need to break for you to be able to come out on the other side, okay? A lot of those things will include breaking out of old traumas, healing your childhood traumas, uh, healing your insecurities, you know, the things, your subconscious beliefs, the things that you've always thought. Like for me personally, when I was healing, I had that subconscious, subconscious belief that I wasn't enough. That's what I used to hear when I was a kid. I wasn't enough, you know, I was stupid and this and this, I couldn't do anything, I couldn't achieve anything. So those are the things I was recalling and I was like, okay, these are the things I need to heal. So I started reprogramming my mind to get those thoughts and those beliefs out of my subconscious so that now I can be guided towards my authentic version. So I healed all those things and I got them out of my system. So a person who was once a very shy guy well, I'm still a little bit shy at the moment, not exactly how I used to be, but I'm not as shy as I used to be. So basically, <coughs> shyness was also a part of low self-esteem because when you have grown up and you've been around so many toxic people, one of the first things they will kill is your self-esteem. So, you know, speaking, even the, simpl the simplest things to speak, you can't talk about them because you're worried about who is going to say what, what people will really think about you and... When you start to heal those things, you're going to get rid of that low self-esteem and you're going to want to put yourself a little bit more out there, you know? So if a person is struggling with uh, shyness, it could be uh, something related with trauma, okay? You may have been a person who was usually quiet because you used to think that when, maybe when you say or talk about something, people are going to react or somebody may tell you this or somebody may tell you that. So you could have been afraid and worried about being yourself, your authentic self. So most of those things are a part of that healing journey. Now, I've got some sessions about healing, okay? If you're a person who is struggling with healing, you want to become your greatest version. I did my healing myself, okay? So in that time, I was thinking about anything that could work, okay? I did not have the resources to go to therapists and those kind of stuff and like that. So I used to use my own way of healing myself because... A lot of you empaths, what you don't know that you've been given the tools to heal yourself. It's just because you haven't yet tapped into that, into that energy. But when you accept that energy to flow to you, you're going to be guided and uh, instructed by the universe on the things you need to do to heal. Is what I'm telling you that I healed myself, okay? Anything that could work. Anything I read about, I heard about, I said, okay, there's nothing to lose. I'm going to try this one. I tried it, okay? Healthy eating, healthy habits doing this, taking care of my body, exercising, things like that, walking, grounding, meditating, praying, all those things. I used to use all those practices, okay? And believe me, ladies and gentlemen, I've never looked back, okay? I do not say that I'm 100% healed, okay? I may be somewhere at least 95 or 90% healed. There's a little bit of things here and there that I'm still working on, but the major things are, you know, they're gone. I've already worked on those and they're gone. So if a person is on your journey, you want to heal, you're very serious about healing, please get in touch with me. You will see an email in the description below. And we shall have a session of how you can heal out of all energy to become your greatest version. So you guys let me know what you think about this video in the comment section below. You know I do love and appreciate your support. Please book a session if you want to. You may donate or support my channel if you want to. Everything you need, you will find it in the description below. And until then, I will catch you guys in my next one. There's almost signing out. Much love and blessings. Peace.